today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Halloween H2O Michael Myers replica mask. If you watched the last two videos, the last two that Spot had done, he's already had a look at two masks, and one was the Halloween 3 Season of the Witch Jack-o-lantern or pumpkin mask, the other one being the Curse of Michael Myers mask. Uh, both of them, as well as this one, I picked up from the folks over at Trick or Treat Studios. You can head over to www.trickortreatstudios.com to get not only Michael Myers masks, to get not only the Season of the Witch masks, but to get a ton of horror masks and horror merchandise. I got a couple of these little cards with my order. Uh, and we're having a look now at the H2O mask. Um, I would think of, I'm going to say probably of all the Michael Myers masks, my favorite is H2O. Before you jump all over me and you think, well, Spot, you really should like the original. The original kind of was the one that started it all. Yes, but I think my favorite still is the Halloween H2O mask. One thing I really like about the mask, and one thing I'm surprised to say that I like so much about the mask, is that you could see Myers' eyes through the eye holes. Not something that you saw in many of the other movies. Most of the time they were pitch black very similar to Jason Voorhees in the hockey mask. But H2O was very different. H2O not only had a different feel to it, of course, uh, written by the same writer as Scream and the I Know What You Did Last Summer and stuff like that. I think that was Kevin Williamson. Uh, so it did definitely have a different vibe to it, had a different tone to it. And one thing I did like was that you could see Meyer's eyes. Now, there is some infamy to the... Uh, H2O movie in the fact that there's about three, possibly four, I think there's only, th maybe there's four in the movie itself. The mask, that is. The mask itself does change drastically, actually, over the course of the movie. And if you go back and watch it, you'll see there's times where the mask doesn't look the same. The mask in the trailer, for example, I believe was the original mask where uh, Jamie Lee and, or Laurie Strode, is face-to-face -face with Myers on the other side of a door. That mask is very different than the mask that you see in the majority of the movie. In fact, there's even a scene where they use a CG J uh, Michael Myers mask uh, in the scene, I believe, where he kills the guy in the, uh, the kitchen. But the predominant, the main mask that you see in the most of the movie is closer to this one right here which I think bears more striking resemblance to the original Halloween 1 mask. Again, a little more fuller, I think. Uh, it still has that paleness to it, but I found like the mask as a whole came across more like a cream-colored white rather than the stark white that was prevalent on the, the, the Myers 1 mask, the Myers 2 mask, which had a little more of a dirtier coloring to it, and certainly a lot uh, different than the very bright white from the Halloween 4 Return of Michael Myers. This mask actually is pretty good, and again, one of my personal favorites. Uh, unlike the Curse, though, uh, the Curse I found had fuller hair. This one here, you can kind of see that it's more in strips, where it's got more str uh, like straps of hair that's cascading down. So again, you'll see little areas where the hair is not there, but if you fill out the hair, like I'm likely to do in the back anyways, if you kind of do fill it out like this, you really don't see those little bold patches. Now, just because it simply has bold patches does not really deter from the mask itself, because actually the level of hair that they've added to this mask is a lot greater than some of the masks that you'll see in stores. When it's Halloween time and you go to those malls, you know the ones, and there's always that little Halloween store that's tucked in the corner and they have masks galore. I've seen lots of Michael Myers masks where the hair is absolutely terrible, where it's just like one sheet of hair that's just drooped down and the mask looks cheap. This mask actually looks really good. Uh, the good quality of the mask, a very more subtle paint application versus that of the, uh, of course, the Part 6 mask that we had to look at. That had a lot more recessed, darker areas. The Part uh, H2O mask, by contrast, a lot paler, very neutral. There's not a lot of darker areas, I guess, except for the areas around the eyebrows, the areas around the mouth, and slight darker areas around the ears. Other than that, its main prime color is this cream colored white. It does have that same uh, separation at the back there for putting on. It makes things a lot easier. Let me tell you from wearing Myers masks, it's a lot easier putting that on. And there is the corresponding tag on the side, in this case, Halloween H2O. 
and there is a better look at the mask. Uh, this mask actually right here, Halloween, Halloween H2O. www.trickortreatstudios.com is your destination for My Myers masks and so much more. As well, you also get a care instructions, which we've read before. Uh, basically, to store your mask, keep it out of direct sunlight. That's always a given. Uh, keep your mask away from extreme hot or cold. After wearing, always clean the inside of your mask out with damp sponge. Uh, again, if you wear wear this, make sure you clean out the, the sweat areas. Uh, the sweat can also break down the, the latex, which this mask is. Also, a little side thing that I'm glad they also incorporate in the mask is the former sideburn, if you will, of the original uh, William Shatner mask that this would have been removed from. A nice little nod there, even though it's not the original uh, William Shatner mask. I'm glad that the H2O mask still kind of incorporated that. Uh, it's definitely a, it's definitely one of my favorite masks, screen use masks. I think in hand mask, my favorite is probably the H or is the Halloween Six Curse of Michael Myers. That mask is outstanding, and uh, even though again it's not Halloween, we're still a couple of months away. Spot was just feeling nostalgic, kind of just getting that itch. I love Halloween, getting that itch that I wanted to get some Halloween stuff out. I still will do more Halloween stuff uh, in October, but in the meantime, I figured I'd tie myself over and hopefully tie you guys over as well with a look at some replica masks. Today, we were looking from the folks over at Trick or Treat Studios. We're having a look at the Halloween H2O replica Michael Myers mask. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.